I love what you're doing with the uh, Stacks and Snacks podcast. Yay. One of the best podcast name I've heard in quite Thank a long time. You. And uh, you're in Beck's episode. Oh, it was so good. What made you want to jump into the podcast world? Where did oh, all that come about? Well, you know, it's funny. Like, I've had an idea. I wanted to do a podcast for a while. And I think, like, the beginning of, 20, beginning of 2020, um, I do bullet journaling and I kind of draw and write out kind of my goals for the year. And one of my goals was to um, start sit at my own table, build my own table mm. because I felt like I was trying to squeeze into tables um, and places where, you know, I was like, hey, there's only so long you can like awkwardly hang around yeah. <laughs> like, Hey, I've got these good ideas until you know you're like okay I can't do it and so I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna have to just go out on my own and do some things and um I I'm trying to think like just I was dry and I've like I said I've always wanted to do a podcast had some ideas I knew that I wanted to talk to musicians about the music that they grew up with um but I had had some other ideas and then one day I was I was driving home and um i'm trying to think if i was coming home from pops or whatever but i was like stacks and snacks like i want to talk to people about their stacks of records and, the, and their snack like what what's their favorite records and what's their favorite snacks and i literally as soon as i got home i i created it um the the art for it i created the art for it that is actually a picture of me and my little brother sitting on my dresser eating snacks and listening to records Nice. So I was like, this is going to be the perfect photo. This is going to be the artwork for it. So I created it and I put a thing on Facebook and was like, all right, who's, who's my friends that collect vinyl records and kind of put some feelers out and just kind of went with it. Beck was my guinea pig. She was coming to stay at the house uh, anyway. And I was like, all right, you want to do, <laughs> do this? So she, she brought her snacks and brought her records and we did it in my basement. I'm so jealous of that Dolly Parton record that she has. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a good yeah. One. So yeah, what she's got some good ones? What are some of your favorite snacks? My favorite snacks? Um, I love Grippos. Grippos. Nice. Um, and then be and beef beef jerky. What do uh, you have like a flavor that you like when it comes to the beef jerky? What well, I like Mini Brother. I like Mini Brothers, which is local here, which is yeah. great. Um, and then like you know, Jack's, Jack's links. Um, but yeah, those are, those are probably my two, my top two snacks. I love the, uh, teriyaki nuggets that Jack links. Oh has. yeah. Yeah. Those oh, are good. Those are the bomb. Mine's yeah. probably the lifesaver gummies. Like that's probably my top oh, yeah. snack. Those are right good. There. Those are good. So, was, oh, oh, go ahead. But I was like, it, what a just random, you know, to just find out what people what people what snacks people like i thought it would be something different <laughs> well i mean that's kind of what people do you know if you're sitting there listening to a record it's good to have some snacks while you listen to your stacks to enjoy yeah i mean that's what me and my brother were doing in that picture so you know and i gotta say you have an incredible collection whenever it comes to vinyl as well but just kind of like off the top of your head what are some of your favorite records that you have um Let's see. Oh gosh, there's so many. Um, probably Parallel Lines by Blondie. Ooh, that's good. One. Um, that's that's one of the my first memory ever is hearing my dad play Blondie on his stereo system. Um, I love, of course, I love Leonard Skinner, um, Second Helping. That's one of my favorites. Um, Don Williams, greatest hits. Uh, Don Williams is one of one of my faves. Love Don. Uh, bad Com Bad Company. Um, I'm trying to think. Traveling Wilburys is one of mine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I I have like a Jackson Brown, Lake of the Sky. Mm. Um, I have like all my record. I have way too many records, but I have kind of one that has just like my favorites. There's like a special little holder that I have all have all them in. Do, do so you mainly go for original or are you one of those people that like you'll get a new reissued copy? I, you know, it, it depends on like traveling Wilburys. Like I wanted it so bad. I got a reissue. I was like, I have to have, I want this so bad because I had that cassette tape when I was young and I loved 
loved it. I mean, Tweeter and the Monkey Man is the most randomly amazing song ever. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I have to have this. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to get it. So yeah, it, it depends, you know, I'm not, um, I'm not, a, I'm not opposed to it. You know, I'm like, it, it's more about if, as long as it sounds good and that feeling of, you know, putting it on the record player and looking at the album artwork, that's what always, you know, kind of drew me to it. I love that. It's kind of making this big comeback nowadays yeah, too. For sure. uh, yeah. If you go to Walmart, there's more vinyl than there are CDs nowadays. That blew my mind whenever I seen that. And I think that there was a study that came out sometime last year or maybe even this year that vinyl is like the most popular form of music that's like, like that people are buying right now. It's yeah. outselling CDs. It's outselling every other you know, yeah. physical form of music. And I just thought that that was so cool that history is repeating itself. And hopefully, you know, that's, that kind of gets the younger generation more into music because yeah, whenever you just download a song, you know, it's, it's almost boring because you're just listening to the song. Like you said, you get to sit there and read the album. If it's got some nice artwork, you get to look at that. I mean, I, I have like just vivid memories. I was obsessed with, Rolling Stone, Some Girls, as a kid, I just saw it that was like, awesome. Like, I just, I remember, you know, I I remember just looking at it, I was like, this is art. I love this. I love this. 